welcome to the brand new season of 2014 Audi R8 LMS Cup here in Korea. Hong Kong's elderly phone is back to defend his title. Lining up on the grade with some familiar rivals like the former Formula One driver Alex Yon and 2012 Audi R8 LMS Cup champion Marchi Lee. The Audi R8 LMS Cup kicked off the 2014 season at the Korea International Circuit in the southwestern corner of Korea. The track is 5.6 kilometers in length, 18 turns in all, and features one of the longest straights in the sport. One of the new elements this year is the push to pass feature, which allows each driver to gain a 50 horsepower boost for 10 seconds for a set number of times each race. Pulsator Frankie Chung used one of his five boosts right at the rolling start, and then again twice coming out of turn one to consolidate his lead, and it turned out to be a wise decision. But as Adley Fung moved into second, Marchi Lee clipped Andre Kuto from the back, and that would end Kuto's race. Disappointment for the home fans too, as K.O. Yo's car was also damaged as he tried to escape the same accident. With Alex Young now up into third, behind leader Frankie Chung and Adley Fung in second, Rahal Fry put this move on Daryl O Young to go into fourth, but O Young immediately responded and took back the position. In a Hong Kong turf war, Matt Solomon went past 2012 champion Marchi Lee. Marchi attempted to come right back, but cut inside and was later penalized for the move. But he later fought back, passing Alex Au, Stefano Montesi and Aidan Wright. Rahel Fry had more success this time, passing Daryl O. Young on the straight to go back into fourth position, having used her push to pass boosts wisely throughout the race. Alex Young was pushing Adli Fung hard for second, but couldn't get by before the end of the 15 lap race. Frankie Chung came round to win the first race of the season, with Fong in second and Young in third. I had a really quite smooth race was able to control and uh, yes really happy to get my first win of the season and a really nice to start of season with a win and uh, now it's focusing on second one the starting positions for the second race of the weekend were made up from the fastest lap times from the first race that put alex young in pole position from marchi lee and frankie chung the Cup's brand new weight ballast element saw Chung carry an extra 60 kilos after his race win in round one. Fong had 40 kilos and Young had 20. Young got away cleanly despite the extra weight and used his push to pass to good effect here to maintain his lead into T1. Behind him was Marchi Lee and Frankie Chung, but Rahal Fry managed to move past Adley Fong to get up into fourth. But Frankie Chung was struggling with the extra 60 kilograms in his car. Swiss driver Rahal Fry took full advantage going past him here into turn four. But at the same corner, Matt Solomon and Adley Fung came together and the reigning Audi R8 LMS champion Fung spun off. Both drivers eventually had to retire from the race. Back at the front, Marchi Lee had closed the gap on race leader Alex Young and was looking for any possible way through. But the Malaysian was using his track position to full effect and was able to stay ahead. Finally, Lee did manage to find a way past Young, but no sooner had he done so, Young retook the lead with this move. Meanwhile, Rahal Fry in third was watching the boys closely and nearly used this opportunity to follow Alex past Marchi. She wasn't able to do so, but stayed close behind, pushing hard for several laps. Neither car had any weight ballast added, but towards the end, Fry used her push to pass button superbly, going past Marchi Lee into second place with this move down the straight. There was no time left for her to take a run at the leader, and Alex Young came round to take the win after a near-perfect performance. Rahal Fry was second, and Marchi Lee was third. See that this push to pass system uh, makes really fun, not only for us drivers in the car, but as well for the spectators. It was amazing, so uh, I'm looking forward to it for the next race. Meanwhile, behind the leaders, there had been quite a battle. Andre Kuto and K.O. had started from the very back of the grid after failing to record a lap at full speed in round one. But Kuto early on had already moved all the way up to sixth. 
and home favourite KOU was doing almost as well as Kuto after an equally disappointing Saturday, having started in 19th position, but he'd made his way up to 7th. Roared on by the home fans, KO was looking for a way past Darrell O'Young, but was having no luck. But then, in the closing laps, the two cars clashed, and KO muscled his way through to fourth. The team Audi career manager was overcome by emotion at the finish, and KO himself was delighted. to pass and weight ballast elements have added lots of excitement to the race and with just five drivers on the podium across two races it looks like this season will be more competitive than ever but we've got another five race weekends throughout the year we will all be heading to japan and hope you can join us and see you soon goodbye